Hey Lighting Fanatics, today I have a very special fluorescent lamp to show you guys. This is my vintage 1964 Champion F6T5D Daylight Fluorescent Lamp. I got this for my birthday last year. My parents got it for me off eBay. So, here it is. It's probably one of my favorite fluorescent lamps in my collection. And also the oldest, I do believe. So we'll go ahead and take a closer look at it here. Here's our end cap here. I have some solder pins there. I've got solder on the end of them, you can see. It's pretty interesting. And then the end caps are the type that uh, is very shiny and isn't quite the right diameter for the lamp. It's not the same diameter as the glass. Quite a few manufacturers use these end caps in the 1960s and 1970s. Not just Champion. There's the other end cap. And then we also have quite a bit of blackening on the ends. Now yeah, I have used this lamp quite a bit since I got it. I do believe it was new when I got it. But I think that's also just a ton of mercury that is condensed on the ends there because I always notice that when I turn this on and leave it on for a while there's all this mercury that just evaporates off the ends and then the ends are less blackened after that so I think there's also just mercury there that's making them look a little bit blacker there here's our et it says champion with the little logo there the little rhombus there it's the F6T5D, it's daylight halo phosphate, it's 6 watt, and it's made in the USA. And this lamp was actually made by Sylvania. Champion was just a brand of Sylvania back in the 1960s. So they actually made this lamp. So if you find a Sylvania version of this, it's the exact same thing. And it was made in October of 1964. I did decode the date code there on the X. Well, suppose it's time to go ahead and turn this lamp on. So I actually have a little fixture over here that we're going to use to do this. Let me go ahead and bring it over here. This is my DIY F65 strip light, if I can actually get it in frame. There we go. This is a pretty cool strip light. I made it with my dad over a year ago. And it has a rapid start ballast in it, not even an electronic one. It is a magnetic rapid start ballast for one of these lamps, or a 4 or 8 watt version too. So it's really, really cool. So we'll go ahead and twist that in there, put it on angle so you can see the whole thing, and we'll go ahead and turn it on. And there you go. We'll go ahead and turn off the lights here. Alright, well you can see the yellow flicker band here. Well, I guess it's kind of orange, I don't know, but that is indicative of a halo phosphate phosphor formulation so it's not going to be the absolute best quality out there but that's not to say this is bad quality by any means well we'll go ahead and come up here where we can actually take a look at some stuff lit by this lamp we'll shine it down there it's not the brightest lamp in the world though the daylight halo phosphate phosphors aren't particularly bright compared to cool white or warm white anyway. And also this lamp has had quite a bit of use. But it's still pretty bright. It's got a very nice color. It's bluish white. It's not greenish. Like a lot of the triphosphor uh, 6500K phosphors are. Which I hate that greenish tint on any fluorescent lamp. It is horrible. So over here, we have some colorful objects here. You can take a look at our CRI. 
It's not bad, but it should be around 75 CRI. So it's not going to be as good as like 80 or 90. But this is in the range where I consider it pretty good for general use. As long as you don't need to see colors too accurately, this will serve just fine for most applications. Well, we'll go ahead and come back down here with the camera and take a look at this lamp starting up a couple more times. Put it down there, unplug it, and start it back up. And you can see it is rapid start. Kind of get a little bit of a dim phase, and then it brightens up. It's like an F40T12 rapid start ballast. There it is again. Sometimes it flashes a little bit during startup. I don't know why it does that. And yeah, you can see just the weird blackening there. That's definitely mercury condensed on the end there. Well, we'll go ahead and unplug the fixture here and turn the lights back on. Alright, the lights have been turned back on, and it's time to remove the lamp from the fixture. There. We'll get that out of here. Because we do not need it anymore. And we'll take one last look at this very nice vintage lamp. So there it is. There are the end caps once again. The etch. In case you want to read that again. And the sleeve. We'll go ahead and put the lamp next to the sleeve. Well, there you have it. The vintage 1964 Sylvania made Champion F65D fluorescent lamp. Well, if you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to leave a like down below. Feel free to leave a comment. And if you want to see more cool lighting videos in the future, be sure to subscribe. See you next time.